Expensive equipment. Recently, I, I didn't want to get in the way. Let's talk. There. All fixed. Shh. Keep it down. Sometimes the walls have ears. Do you know what this is, Aiden? Looks like uh, uh, pellets, buckshot. Oh. <laughs> Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Beluga, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Considered to be the only true caviar in the world. Dissolves on your tongue. Letting you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things. Beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But 
Humorless grunts don't notice that. They kill for the future and they forget the present. They? The major mats of the world. Please, join me. I've taken care of the UV lamps. Has Matt confided to you why he needs lamps in a place with no electricity yet? And how he's going to carry out this suicide mission? That's what I thought. Contact him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Hey, Matt, the lamps are ready and waiting for you. Got it, Aiden. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan said that the TV station has no power. What good are these lamps to us if we can't turn them on? Juan's just fucking around. Don't worry about that. Juan? Nah, he barks a little, but I can handle him. Good approach. Rabbit dogs must be kept at bay. And when they try to bite, put them out of their misery. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. That. As you can see, Jack likes to give orders. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. Until today, I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people. Come on. Got something to show you. I know about you. You help people. Well, I, I help people sometimes, yeah. I'll pay you, of course. I can't afford it. This is all mine. Mine and my dad's. Not in the market for a new skirt, but... You know what, sure. Tell me what you need. Okay. But this is just between you and me. Can't let dad find out. Oh, so it's his money you plan on spending. Nonsense. I'm trying to stop Dad's girlfriend from spending his money. Elena. She's got him wrapped around her finger. They've only been together a month and she's gone through his savings already. He's even mortgaged the shop. She has to be stopped or we'll have nothing left. Take this. It's all I have. If this goes any further, she'll kill him. Wait, wait what? Kill him? Like she did several so-called boyfriends before him. All fallen dead shortly after falling for her. Do you have proof? How about four bodies? All her exes except the last one. His name is Josh. Managed to escape her clutches alive. He can tell you all about her, I bet. Find Josh. 
Ask him. It may be the only way to save my father from his own stupidity. Where can I find Josh? Spends a lot of time at Frank's. Half in the bag. Usually after sunset. But I bet he can prove Elena is a killer.
best prices in town, sweetie. An elephant has a trunk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's a fish. If it doesn't rain, we will draw an entire zoo tomorrow. Josh, I'm looking for him. Buy me a shot. Maybe I'll remember something. First info. Another shot and you'll be completely worthless. Josh, he gotta be swimming in booze somewhere around here. Either that or fist deep in someone's face. I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. For Josh. Why? Thick of your teeth? He not here. Thank God. Ader? Is that you? Hello, Pilgrim. This is my son. Oh, yeah, this is Aiden. I think we met when your dad was sick. Um, how's it going, Oya? Get lost. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. He's having a hard time. A lot's changed for us. And what happened? You see, Patricia and I have separated. And once I've recovered, the first thing I wanted to do was get that motherfucker. <sighs> Sorry, kid, cover your ears. You mean that motherfucking waltz? You've cursed like that a hundred times in front of me. Yeah, him. Uh, Patricia had asked me not to. But I wanted revenge on Waltz for killing my men, for killing Lucas. And him escaping punishment, you know? Well, did you get him? Nah. A few days after I was walking again, I started looking for him. And Patricia pleaded with me, but... When I returned home after a few days, I found it empty. Patricia had moved out and taken the boys with her. Most of their things were gone. All I found was a letter. Just a few words, really. <laughs> Apparently, while I was stationed in Old Villador, Patricia had made contact with her ex-husband. I've no idea what she saw in a stuffy old teacher. He's only our teacher. Jeez, Dad. Oh, yeah. Look, I know you're only trying to protect your mother. Although, to be fair, they aren't living together. I don't know what's going on. Mum left because she was tired of it all. She'd had enough. Yeah, that's true. More than enough, I suppose. Uncertainty, fear for me. Wondering whether I'd come back alive. But now I've only got one goal. To get my family back. I know how you feel. Sometimes, in our rush toward our goals, we forget about the people around us. You've been running around, looking for someone this whole time, haven't you? Yes, my sister. Waltz may know something about her. I hope you don't lose yourself, like I have. Patricia won't talk to me. Or yeah, well, you can see for yourself. Only my youngest gives me the time of day. I'm teaching him how to handle weapons. Being with them makes me stronger. I won't take any more of your time. I wish you the best, Dater. Wait. Remember Lazarus? 
It's a solid weapon. It's unlikely to be of any use to me anymore. I was supposed to kill Waltz with it. You do it for me. You can bet I will. Bye, Oyer. Get lost. I knew this all come. Carl. He's the little Does your mother ever talk show. about me? Did she have to cope behind her and you're supposed to bring it? I'm still in the oh, Damn it, I forgot. Fine. Fine, I'll go get it. She cries all the time because of you. You all right, Aiden? You were supposed to get lost. You've got a problem. I would like to spend some time with my son. The guy knows everything. You know, so when they dug the metro in 1960... Oh, don't act so offended. I was paying your tits a compliment. How about I pay your balls a compliment with my shoe? Everything all right? There you are. You aren't gonna admit it and Dick for Brains here starts hitting on me. Sorry, my dude. I, I was just making sure your girl was safe. So where is your boyfriend? At the bar, buying me a beer. Go ahead, buy yourself one too. Can't stay long. I'm looking for someone. You know a Josh? Huh. Figured I was more your type than someone named Josh. I know Josh, but I'm real thirsty, you dig? Hey, a pint for my friend? All right, let's hear it. Try the roof, man. The way he smacks folks around, he knows he's not wanted in the bar. So he gets his drink on under the stars. Thanks. Cheers. If Elena ever hits on you, be careful. Her boyfriends tend not to... Why are you just standing there? Josh, I want to talk to you about Elena. Elena sent you? She suck her latest cash cow dry already? Or maybe, maybe she wants to see me? Nobody sent me. I hear you know a thing or two about Elena. Important things. Yeah, right. You want to fuck her like all the rest of us. Now get out of here before I lose my temper and rearrange your face. I'm trying to listen to my tunes. Woo! <laughs> 
And what? Flip the fuses now. Thanks. Thanks. And I'll talk. What secrets of Elena's are you keeping? All right. We hooked up not long after she lost her husband. Third chump in a row to kick it after being with her. You see? Spend money on her like it was going out of style. And then it was just... gone. Clear in my head real quick, and I realized... Poison! She poisoned her former lovers, and she was doing it to me! Poison? What kind? got her own secret recipe. Apparently passed down from her old lady. Now, from what I hear, you just as easily had alcohol poisoning. You think I don't know the difference? It's booze that saved me. I'm convinced. Knocked out that damn poison and saved my fucking life. Elena's a goddamn witch. She's got a whole stash of this shit in her apartment. Keeps it in these little orange boxes. Go check out her place on the ship. Okay, I'll take a look. Myself and you in New York for even if it's worth having. I know you don't like it, but I got. 
got a favor to ask. Probably something with that red. One wrong move, and I skewer you like a pig. You? So you're a thief. Tell me about this. Fuck you. This is my apartment. Get out now before I call the guard. I'll go for it. Sure they'd want to know about your poison, too. So, you found Josh. And he said that I tried to poison him, right? Yeah, and that you're currently conning a man so that he'll turn over his shop and money to you. Right? Except you've got plenty of experience killing, right? Hey, we all got our ways to survive. If mine is to have chumps throw their money at me, and their way is to throw all their money at me, well, win-win, I say. But I've never killed anyone. No way. Why should I believe you? You took the drunk's word for it. Why not take mine? Hey, there's more than that here. Remember four dead men, all while involved with you? What makes you think I killed them and not, oh, I don't know, the virus or zombies? Look, wet behind the ears, that's medicine. My mother was a medic and taught me a few things. Open up. What's going on? Hide it, quickly. Elena killed four people. This is the poison she used. This isn't poison. Just check. Ask Baba, the plague witch. She has a shop on St. Paul Island. She'll tell you I'm not lying. That charlatan? Please. If that's your best witness, you die tomorrow. Thank you, Aiden. That bitch got what she deserved. How did you convince your father to call the guards on her? It wasn't easy, but I panicked. I didn't know if I could trust you. I don't have anything else to give you, but I will talk to my father. I'm sure you'll be more than welcome in his shop. 